down waves. This is a brief addendum and this is some of the 3D volume color spaces that for visualization that we provided before. If you recall, we did some for the different working color spaces to show how they appeared relative to one another within this 3D volume LAB space. The second version of that was where we showed some actual targets, color checker, SG, et cetera, and where they, those colors lie within each of those color spaces. This is a brief addition to those. We are going to be showing three different working color spaces, um, sRGB, Adobe RGB, and a new popular one, a P3 working color space as advocated by Apple. But first, we want to show this relative to some real working colors, actual colors. Uh, the pointer's gamut. The pointer's gamut is an approximation of the gamut of real surface colors as can be seen by the human eye. So these are real colors. These were based on research by Michael Pointer in 1980. I can't recall the number of uh, samples he made, but I'm going to turn on the data points within the pointer's gamut. And there they are. By the way, I got these uh, this data from RIT's Montsell Color Lab. And there they are. <clears throat> I'll move this around a little bit more, slow things up. So there are the real working uh, colors according to the pointer's gamut. Okay. So now <clears throat> I'm going to show where those lie within and with outside of. Uh, let's start with the sRGB. A little bit of transparency on this. Not surprisingly, there are quite a few colors outside of the sRGB working color space. Okay, so <clears throat> that's not a big surprise, but let's see how this is depicted relative to the Adobe RGB. I'm going to turn off the sRGB, turn on Adobe. There you go. A, a lot more of those colors are now within the Adobe working color space. There's still a few outside. And that's what this was meant to show, the, uh, the greater effect of some of these colors. Quite a few out here in the yellows, oranges. And now, we'll turn those off, and we'll show you how the P3 covers almost all of these. I think there's one or two. There's the P3 working color space, and yes, there are a few still outside, but very, very few. So this is just meant to give you some idea of where some of these pointer gamut colors lie relative to some of the more popular working color spaces. You can see uh, there's still some outside here in the blues, but uh, we'll leave it at that. I'll turn this on again and give you a little opacity. I'll just let you know where that lies with respect to P3. I'll conclude right now, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. More will be coming. We'll be having selections on skin colors, flesh tones, uh, cultural heritage colors, and paintings. Mm -hmm.